Hi class, in this lecture here I want to go over uh, one of the harder challenge activities in section 3.3 talking about correlation and the coefficient of determination. Okay, so here we go. So the first one says click uh, this link to download the spreadsheet for this activity. Okay, so I'm going to click this link and you're going to get an Excel spreadsheet that looks roughly like this. Okay, and you're going to have some values in cities and these are home prices of single value, condominiums or co-ops, all homes, and then it lists household income, the unemployment rate, and the population in these towns or in these cities. Okay, so a researcher is interested in analyzing the relationship uh, between various variables and housing data for 32 cities, as I said. And so the first question is, what is the correlation coefficient R for the model that predicts the list price of single family homes, so that's my Y variable, using median household income as the explanatory variable? So the first thing we want is um, we want R here, okay? So we want to pick predict the value, the selling price of single family homes. So that's this column right here, okay? Using median household income as the explanatory variable. So that looks like right here. Okay, so to find R, you're going to use the equals corral function. This returns the correlation coefficient. So you're going to select ray one, that'll be our x variable here. Then you're going to go comma, you're going to select ray two, that'll be our y variable. So we'll select all those. We'll close the parentheses. And we should get a value right here. So it is 0 0.7939, okay? Or when I, you know, when I round it, I can go 0 0.7940. Okay, so zero. And what is the interpretation of the correlation coefficient? So it says pick, and in this case, because the correlation coefficient is less than 0 0.8, so I know it's close, but anything less than 0 0.8, but above 0 0.4 indicates a moderate relationship, okay, that exists. So we got it right here. All right, let's go on and see what we have next here. Okay, so again, what is the regression equation um, for the model that predicts the list price of all homes, so of all homes, uh, using median household income as the explanatory variable. So you gotta be careful here. Now they're switching not from single value, but they're saying all homes. So we're no longer interested in this column here. So it's all homes, okay? So in this case, this is our X and this is our Y. So we need the slope of the regression equation. So that's equal to slope you're going to use your known y's, so we want the price of all homes, comma, and then our known x's. So then we want the household income. Close the parentheses. And you should get this. Okay, this is our slope. 11.637 when I round it to three decimal places. Okay, so in front of the x variable, so 11.637. And now we need the intercept here. So we're going to use equal intercept. So it's going to say, what are the y's? So again, this is all homes, comma, what are the x's? Here, close the parentheses. And this is our intercept. Okay, so it is negative 300 and negative negative. $303,790.851. So you have, to, you have to be careful to get this in correctly in there. Okay, so it was negative 303,790.851. Okay, bring that back in. So we got that. So what is the interpretation of the slope here? Okay, blank in the list price of homes as the median home value increases. So it looks like because the slope is positive, we have an increase here. And what is the interpretation of the intercept? Well, there's there's no practical uh, interpretation here, right? Because there's no X values here in household income close to zero. So there's no practical interpretation here. Okay. Yay, we got it. All right, so next. Uh, what is the coefficient of determination for the model that predicts unemployment rate using household income as the explanatory variable, okay? So um, unemployment rate right here, 
um, using household income as the explanatory variable. So this is R squared. So uh, you can actually find the correlation coefficient here between the two. So we're using uh, household income as the X variable. And then the unemployment weight rate as the Y variable. And then R squared is you're going to take this value and you're just going to square it. Okay, and you see you get 0 0.083 when I go to three decimal places here. So rounding to three decimal places. Okay, so an interpretation of the coefficient determination in this context is that change, you just change this to a percentage, okay? 8.3% of the variance in unemployment rate is explained by the variance in household income. And we got it, okay? Uh, so I know this one was a little bit difficult whenever you have to use the Excel sheet, but I hoped uh, seeing this um, video made it a little bit easier for you.